When administering medication through a central venous access device, follow these steps. Prepare the medication as follows. Set up the equipment on a convenient surface you have cleansed or covered with a disposable pad. Check compatibility of the medication with the existing IV infusion. Verify the medication that can safely be administered through a central site. Double check the infusion rate as well. Draw up the medication using a needleless device or needle with a filter. Then change to a sterile safety needle or needleless device for administering the medication. Recap any needles throughout as needed using a needle capping device or approved one handed technique. Dilute the medication if needed. Fill the medication syringe to the exact volume to be infused. Expel excess volume. Label the syringe with the contents, including medication name, dilution, time to be administered, route, and name of person constituting the medication. To flush the CVAD line, obtain heparinized or saline solution. Follow the institution's protocol or the prescription, because practices vary in different locations and situations. Dosage for centrally administered drugs is critical because the medication enters the heart almost instantly. Any error is potentially life-threatening. Before flushing the CVAD, examine the syringe and flick it to remove any bubbles. Eject the air, but be sure you have enough flush solution remaining in the syringe. With clean procedure gloves, Using pressure and friction, vigorously scrub all the surfaces of the CVAD connectors, as well as the lure locking threads or the lure lock, including the extension tail with an alcohol wipe, CHG alcohol combination, or other antimicrobial product for at least 15 seconds. Let it dry for 15 seconds. Do not touch this connector after cleansing. Insert the flush syringe into the port using a needleless system or safety syringe. Open the clamp between the syringe and the patient. Inject saline or heparinized flush solution into the line per agency protocol or provider's orders and type of catheter. Some catheters do not require heparin, and different catheters require different volumes of flush solution. Close the clamp. Disconnect the flush syringe. This procedure uses a neutral fluid displacement device. Therefore, any flushing technique can be used. Sequence of clamping and disconnecting does not matter. After disconnecting the flush syringe, regardless of method used for that, Administer medication through the CVAD. Scrub all surfaces of the external ports and tubing with a CHG alcohol combination product for at least 15 seconds. Allow the port to dry for 15 more seconds or follow manufacturer's guidelines. Close the clamp to the infusion if a primary IV is running. Unclamp the line and inject medication into the port according to the medication order infusion time. Then clamp the line. After scrubbing all surfaces of the port again with the CHG alcohol or other product, Unclamp the line and administer the second syringe of flush solution. Clamp the tubing between the syringe and the CVAD port. If there is an infusing primary IV, make sure the tubing is open between the IV fluid and the patient. When you finish the procedure, Remember the universal steps that apply after all procedures. For example, leave the patient in a safe, comfortable position with a call device in easy reach. For a negative fluid displacement device, use a positive pressure technique. 
for a blunt cannula with split septum or mechanical valve. Withdraw the cannula before the syringe is completely empty, keeping your thumb on the syringe plunger. For a mechanical valve device with negative displacement, maintain pressure on the syringe plunger, close the clamp on the IV line between the needleless connector and the patient, and then disconnect the syringe. For a positive fluid displacement device, do not use a positive pressure technique. Flush using a push-pause technique. Wait 10 seconds or per manufacturer guidelines to allow fluid displacement to occur. Remove syringe and only then may you clamp the catheter. Sometimes there are special situations that you will encounter during the procedure. What if the line does not flush easily? Never force the flush solution into the venous access device if you feel resistance. Forcing fluids creates a risk of rupturing the catheter. Look for a closed clamp on the catheter or tubing and check to see if an inline filter is clogged. What if the central line gets caught on the patient's clothing? Loop the tubing over the dressing and secure with tape. What if the central line is cracked or leaking? Hold firm, constant pressure on the site to control bleeding. Have a colleague notify the provider immediately. What if the patient has any of these symptoms? One, is short of breath or complains of chest pain. Two, feels pain in the neck or ear on the side where the implantable CVAD is located. Three, hears swishing noises or has palpitations. Notify the provider immediately. In all these instances, the implanted device might be dislodged, or there could be fluid overload or other complication, such as a dislodged clot or embolism. Placement must be confirmed by x-ray.